guys, happy Tuesday. All right, you have two things that you need to do today. The first one is a Nearpod. Um, it's a self-paced Nearpod that's linked right below the link to this video. Um, all the stuff in the Nearpod isn't new, you've done it all before. I do need you to use your real name. The most important part of the Nearpod is the last slide, which is a collaborative board where you're gonna brainstorm ideas for your argumentative essay. Now. When it comes to topics, I expect that they are school appropriate, okay? But that doesn't mean you can't do things like the death penalty or tobacco or alcohol or things like that. It just means to be careful. If you have a question on whether something is school appropriate or not, send me an email or visit me during office hours. Once you're done with that Nearpod, you're going to choose two of the topics from that collaborative board that you think you might want to research for your topic and you're going to complete the worksheet. Here's what the worksheet looks like. All right everyone so this is the argumentative essay uh, pros and cons worksheet that we're going to do today and tomorrow. So what you first need to do is you need to choose a topic from the Nearpod that interests you. Uh, something that I'm really passionate about is bottled water. Uh, really sorry about my screen handwriting, everyone. You're just going to have to kind of deal. Okay, so I'm interested in bottled water. Maybe you're interested in school uniforms or the death penalty or animal testing or any of the other great ideas on the Nearpod. We're going to start by choosing one. <clears throat> now, you need to look at both sides of the topic. So the first side of my topic, bottled water, is that People should buy bottled water. And then the other side is going to be people should not. People should not buy bottled water. If I was doing school, okay, hold on. I just forgot how to spell water, it's fine. If I was doing school uniforms, my first side would be that schools should require students to wear uniforms, and then my side two would be schools should not require students to wear uniforms. Even if you think you know what side you want to argue for, it's important that before we jump in and gather all the research, that there's actually enough research. So that's why I'm making you do both sides. Okay. So in this argument and evidence box, you need to start looking at possible arguments and then the evidence that go with those arguments for when we actually write the essay. So you need four of these in each box. You're gonna have four over here and four over here. Say it with me, I need four. Okay, so the first argument for people should buy bottled water, I think is going to be that it's cheap. It's cheap. All right. It's better than pop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. What else? I'm going to do the bottles are recyclable. Recycle. And for my fourth one, I'm going to do um, that the, the water quality is better. So I'll say better than tap water. Now, for each of these four, I need to find one piece of evidence to support it. So I'll have four arguments and four pieces of evidence. So I'm gonna go to the internet and find a source and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I went onto the internet and I was trying to find arguments for it's cheap. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And that's something that I'm gonna to wanna to keep in mind when I do this, if I try to argue for bottled water, that this argument wasn't a very good one because it was really hard to find information from a credible source. So here you can see I have my quote, okay, copied and pasted from the internet. And then I also have the link down here, okay? 
what you need to get done today is you need to get this column done. So the first column on the first side. So if I zoom out, I'll make this different color. This is what you need to get done today. Just this side, not this side. We will do that side tomorrow. Okay, so on this side, what I'm expecting you to have is four arguments and then four quotes with links to the website. Okay, if you need help, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.